Yeah, uh, thanks, Chiefs. Good evening to members of the media. Um, yeah, just to congratulate the team. Very proud of the players. Very, very happy that we won. Uh, <clears throat> few things I didn't like about the performance, but but okay. In in retrospect, with the number of rotations, uh, with a lot of the players that haven't played in a long time, with the turnover between the games and the lack of training time. I'm happy with the attitude, mm, the energy, the the spirit of brotherhood. Um, I'm told when we scored, the entire group upstairs also was uh, up in on their feet and celebrating. So very good. Uh, happy with the never say die attitude to keep trying and to keep trying. These type of games are very difficult, and even some of the big teams always struggle. You you heard Man City with Pep against Arsenal, against the low block, so tough. And uh, when it ended, 0-0. Zero, zero. And the solutions you have to find, you know, but part of it is to be patient and to keep trying. And maybe we went too too wide today, too wide. Uh, and you have all the possession, but when you go wide, the goalpost doesn't move and, and re-establish itself in a wide position. And then you have to come back inside. But I'm happy for that half space cross. Uh, is something that we've been working on, and it's it's good that Piso puts that ball in the in that area. Mendieta makes that run, and uh, very proud of the effort of the players. Proud of the substitutions uh, and the impact of the subs. Mapena was good. Um, the Sibanku was good to see him. He was good. Mendieta was good. Um, um, so yeah, I'm very happy, very happy with the subs, happy with the performance. Uh, nice to see Master V, Semi, Semi Siavi on the pitch also. He was good, good attitude, good good energy. And now Mayama good, uh, now Mayama was very good. So so very good. And I, I'm happy for, for Mendieta to be honest. And I, and I very seldom mention individuals, but I think he deserves special mention because his attitude has been very, very, it's been difficult for him. Uh, the adaptation, um, the language, uh, injuries, but but he's, he's he does, he gives me no problems. He fights, he trains well. He's got such a good attitude, and that's and that's a, a good lesson for a lot of footballers out there. That uh, the talking must be done on the pitch, um, and when you when you fight and you work hard you you've got good chances and the universe supports you so it was good to see the support of the universe on media and yeah happy with the result <clears throat> um we needed to win against a team that was not here to win and those type of games are tough but good yeah happy with the result and we move on to the next one and you coach questions on the thanks Jus. thank you Coach Kotato from Open Radio. So Kotato. Um, coach, um, how different did your answer change from the 90 minutes that we saw, perhaps from we we sitting? The game was not as end to end and action packed. It was not as interesting as we normally see the the Suns game. How 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 much like, did your how much did your script change? from what you're planning to say to us to what you're saying now with the victory? No, I would have told you we can play better and I still accept that the performance can be better but I would have told you also that I'm very proud because I said that at half time and it was 0-0. Zero, zero. I told them that they just have to keep going with the same energy, same attitude and, and just keep trying. It's not easy. Not easy for a number of factors. Uh, we, we didn't have much time to prepare for the game. Uh, we only had uh, two two <clears throat> video sessions. We had a recovery session. We arrived. We arrived uh, Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, we did. We arrived Sunday morning, <clears throat> and um, already Monday we woke up. We had to report for camp, uh, recovery, and report to camp. And. Um, but okay, that's the life we live, you know, that's, it's going to be like that now, every two, three days, every two, three days, up until the end of the season. So we got to get used to it, you know, and, and the big teams, the big players. Um, and this is the time, this time is not always about, oh, uh, this, this and that, and that the details of the, of the performance is actually about trying to make sure that we stay focused on, on, on the ultimate prize. These are games of consequence and, 
we would have loved to score a bit earlier that would open the game up a little bit but the longer it goes for 0-0 zero, zero, the deeper the block is the less space you have and um, and then of course for the for the neutrals it's just one team playing close to the to the goal there and then clearances for Sanella Barnes and Sundwana to chase and then of course it's not so entertaining for you guys that are watching but but it's 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 difficult for us the coaches because if they get one behind there's a mistake there's a there's a possibility of a, so you've got to stay switched on alert all the time and make zero mistakes because that's the type of game it is. They wait for a mistake. They wait for 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 a set piece maybe. Um, so I'm happy with the players. Uh, we couldn't find uh, enough spaces in between the lines, and that's also credit to to Richards Bay and their defensive structure. And these games now, um, I I anticipate that this is how the games are going to be. Uh, the next league games <coughs> is. Uh, Spurs, you know how Spurs will play. Uh, the, the next game again is Swallows. You know how Swallows will play. Uh, I don't expect Real AM to play too too open because they also somewhere they're fighting for their lives. So the next couple of games, Tux in the Netbank Cup will be probably a similar script: low block, counter attack, set pieces. They won one nil today from a similar situation where they go wide, they cross, and they they score. Um, so so that's going to be a lot of our lives where the teams are saying ah, not to open if we get a draw we are okay and that's a win for most of the teams so we have to keep trying to find solutions work on these things and and and, and even the game against Yanga you saw in the, the 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 last game we we went to Tanzania but the block is low they limit the space uh, you can't find the pockets and when you can't find the pockets, there's not a lot of verticality, so it's horizontal, horizontal, and then a little bit of that. But okay, the, it's important that we find um, possibilities to to create more chances against low blocks, and and of course even set pieces then become so important. But I'm happy for with the result and happy with the with the score line, and I and I suppose. Um, Moving into this time of the season, it's it's probably the most important thing. Uh, Coach Kamkolo from Sokolo. Sure, Kamu. Congratulations on the win, first of all. Thank um, you, sir. I, with all the changes being made today um, to the squad as a whole, I just wanted to understand like what are some of the struggles in trying to establish fluidity and continuity within the team or starting eleven that doesn't really play that often and together to to in the first place. What, what are some of these struggles? Yeah, well, for sure, is 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 the match dynamics. You know, the training is completely different to the games. You 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 have to keep the tempo. You've got to keep the intensity on the concentration. Uh, you know, without training, there's also intervals and water breaks so that we maintain the actions and the repetition of the in of the actions. But in the game, it's 45 minutes, and you have you've got to be intense. You've got to be fully, fully concentrated. And I thought today that was good. I thought uh, even even the spirit in the team, you know, I liked I liked that, and I I didn't see dropped heads, dropped shoulders, which is something I've seen in the last few games a, li a little bit of. Of that, but today was good. I didn't see much of that. Good, good attitude, good body language, and also supporting one another. You know, and we knew it was going to be difficult, and we asked them to be good teammates to each other because a lot of them haven't played, and that's why you even get a situation where Terence is cramping, and then of course then you know you want to make a different change, but you've got to you've got to make something else, which is. And I was happy because uh, I've been doing this with Neo Miami a lot in 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 the training sessions, playing him as an inverted left back, you know, and coming inside, overloading and coming back and defending. He's, he's been doing very, very well. And he did that well today. So I was happy with, with, with uh, his contribution after Terry had to go off. And Zuko also, he's been he, he's been playing very well, but he came on, he tried. Uh, it's good to see Tobin Vala back. Tobin's last game was in the AFCON. And uh, he came, Obas is now growing in stature, believing a little bit more. Dennis, uh, not a lot of game time, but superb. Uh, zero mistakes, uh, good leadership, even on set pieces with the organization. Um, and then I'm happy for, for Pizzo. He's also been coming nicely. Um, um, but yeah, okay, let's let's keep going. We have to build uh, even Tash. He has to find the momentum. Sipo has to find the momentum. 
uh, Esquivel has to find the momentum and they need all our support in a few more minutes. But okay, it will come. Uh, we just have to give everybody the support we are giving them and I'm sure the performances will improve. But uh, the dynamics, of course, don't make it too easy because you, you want momentum, you want regularity, you want to play with... Uh, with blink, you know, with 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 a blinder, you know, with eyes closed, and you know what movements each other is gonna make, and 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 in relation to the positions that one takes, and that's the game we play. It's a very dynamic game. That's uh, positions are interrelated to each other, and the movements have to be dependent on each other. And then when you don't play together for a lot, it's it's very difficult to develop that chemistry, but. I'm proud of, of the f one fact that even at the beginning of the season when we spoke about rotations and the results after the rotations, it's, it's, uh, it's coming better. You know, this season and when, when we rotate, even though this, the performance is not as, as high, but I'm happy that we are still being able to, to get the results and, and that makes me very proud. Coach. Mr. Yeah. sir. I just want to check something here. How, how important is having uh, Tambazwane, uh, you know, going forward, but in particular for, for the weekend? Uh, he's a big game player, you know, I'm sure you missed him uh, in Dar and all that kind of thing. How important is he being av available again? And also an, an update on Bongs? Yeah. Um, no, Tambazwane is Tambazwane. I, I speak a lot about Mshishi. And his influence and his importance to this group. Um, um, so that's good. But we need everybody, you know, and and that's the message I've been saying. And I'm happy that they they receiving this message and and coming up with good performances. So that's that's also very very good. It was good to see Lesiva also. And now, as I said, we need him now. In these dying games and these moments, his uh, his attitude is good and. Uh, his body language is much better so so and the energy that he gives because that's very important you know you've got to give good energy to your teammates and good energy to to, to the coaches too because because we are also part of the team and um when you when you give good energy and and you you you're coachable and you reciprocate the support that we give you you know you you make you make everyone's job a lot easier and also you show respect not only to the club but to the supporters who who know how important everybody is. So it's it's, it's good to see. Uh, an update on Zungu. I think he'll be out for. Uh, he's got a he's got a, a hernia, but it's a little bit it's a little bit upper and towards the side. Something he's been struggling a little bit with. Um, and uh, the early prognosis is that. He'll be out for about four weeks, him and Musa Libusa, which is a big blow for us. But fortunately, we're getting um, Toby back at a very important time, and we're getting uh, Rushin also back, who was on the bench. Um, and uh, Brian Onyango is always reliable and ready, so we, we are we are okay. And, and how good was Obas in that position today? It was, it was amazing. Um, so we should be okay. Um, Hopefully we can get AB back also because he gives us also a lot of options at centre back, left centre back, left back, inverted left back, uh, third midfielder. Um, so so the numbers are getting there and, and AB should be back. But uh, I think Bongs and, and Musa probably in the next oof, next four weeks and maybe towards the end of the season, the last couple of weeks they'll be back. Um, <coughs> you, you, you spoke of rotations even at the end of last season. I spoke about how you no longer want to just rotate mm. just to give those who are mm. minutes, but you want to rotate but keep the same standard. <coughs> One thing I, I observed today, um, if you look at the previous games, uh, the first game in the Nibir Cup, Look at the Shiba game. You look at the game against Spurs. Uh, Sundowns always plays with a lot of bravery. But something I've observed today is that the players who maybe like haven't been playing consistently, they tend to be a, to play a bit more safe. Safe. Sometimes you see a person late, but they just don't don't want to make a mistake. One hundred percent. What do you what do you do to 
to just get them over the hurdle. It's difficult. They've got to win games and their confidence and play. You know, it's it's a it's a very good observation and it's. I don't want to talk about it because it's 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 something that uh, I spoke to the coaches about on the bench. Um, and that's that's why we had these safer passes that go to the sides, you know, the space is more open, it's so tempting to go to the sides and, and then I've got 100% pass rate and uh, I don't have mistakes, I don't have corrections because I know pass was intercepted, but these balls that come inside are so important, you know, especially against low blocks because even though it's not a, a, a successful pass, but it gives you even counter-pressing opportunities and, and then those counter-pressing opportunities. Klopp always says a good counter press is the best number ten, and sometimes you can even create a chance from from just a good counter pressing action where you where you uh, you you regain the ball in and around the box after an interception. The same thing if you watch uh, Roger Schmidt's teams like uh, all all the way to Bayer Leverkusen, even even Benfica for an example. They play what they call these laser passes and these laser crosses that go into the defenders. And it becomes difficult for the defender to receive and control from a one touch. And after a heavy touch, the, t the players are already there to, to pounce on it. But there's so many details on that because then the body position and the orientation has to be in support of the, the pass. Uh, the distances and the positions have to be good so that you can recover the balls early and, and in time because if they beat that situation and they come out, then they can create chances on, on transitions. Um, but okay, um, I think it's, 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 it's normal for footballers to have these moments. Uh, we just have to support them and uh, show them these clips, show them these situations and hopefully uh, and and you and and also it's the period of the season. You know, there's so much at stake that nobody wants to be the guy that's turned over the ball and the ball ends up in the back of the net. You know, uh, so you, I have a bit of understanding of of what it means to the players. And for for sure, when when the players don't want to commit mistakes, you 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 have to look at it in the positive more than the negative to say they care a lot and they know what it means to the club. They care a lot to 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 the supporters. They know what it means to the supporters, and they don't want to be the one that lets the club and the supporters down, you know. So, so um, that's that's at least a positive that that the players are, are positive, they care, and they they showing good attitude and uh, responsibility. But of course, you want more bravery, you want more courage, you want more risks, uh, because risks equal progression. Progressions mean. Uh, chances to score, and you saw it a lot today. We go to, uh, we can be a bit more aggressive and put the ball inside or play a forward pass, but we'd rather turn and go back and play safe. And but um, uh, yeah, we will improve. Um, this 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 team will get better. That's one of the things that I think a lot of people don't don't um, maybe think about is that the team will definitely get better. Uh, and and and. Um, with with uh, more training days and the only way to improve is to is to train is uh, vid but now we don't have it's recovery video recovery video it's not there's not enough training sessions um but i'm proud of them and that's the most important message i'd like to leave in this press conference is that the coach is very proud of this group of players we'll take the last two questions coach um, just a, uh, an observation i'm sure you can give a general comment I mean, we saw um, yeah, Bafana players. Um, Sundowns players. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, Sundowns Bafana players. They all Bafana play for Bafana. Sundowns Bafana. players, whichever way you want. Sundowns to. players that play for Bafana. Okay. That represent Bafana. Yes, Sundowns right. players. Okay, no, that's why. Yeah. yeah. Uh, traveling to, to 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 link up with the rest of the teammates. Yeah. Um, 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 in Dar es Salaam and um, you know, in a, in a flying in a in, in a private jet, but obviously to an ordinary person, it appears as as a fleshy thing and, and stuff like that. But but uh, you know, the reality of the situation is that you have to do stuff like that to to to, to meet the the ambitions of what you are trying to achieve. It's not all fleshy fleshy uh, way, uh, uh, spoiled footballers, but to get it right, this is the level at which you operate at and. Uh, 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 you just want to comment on that to say this is what has to happen uh, if we are operating at the level where you guys are operating at. 
No, my, my, my response is, is twofold. The first is it's done all over the world. Uh, in fact, what the, the teams are now doing is they collaborate. So you find Man City South American players in the same flight as uh, Liverpool South American players and they collaborate in, uh, in, in chartered flights, private uh, transportation that gets them as quickly back to the clubs as possible because preparation time is so important. And with uh, such a limited turnover, you've got to you've got to look for these type of means. And then it gives me that second um, aspect on answering your question is we 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 have got to extend gratitude for the support we get from the football club and the Mutsipe family, because these type of things is not always uh, it costs money, you know. And uh, from the generosity of the of the family. Uh, our chairman is so supportive in, in in these type of situations, and we've got to we've got to thank our chairman and 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 the board and the leadership of the club for for always extending a, a helping hand. And in and in fact, it was a it was coming from them. Uh, it wasn't even coming from 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 me. So it was coming from the club to to suggest it. You know, and um, and uh, you've got to, you've got to appreciate that they give you so much support and and they give the players so much support and and that's. And that's the most I can say. Whatever you do at Sundowns, you you get judged, and there's always a comment. So I'd rather not speak about what the perception is, except focus on on saying it's done worldwide by some of the big clubs, and also uh, extend ex, uh, humble gratitude and 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 and, and words of of thanks to to the family and to the football club for for the support that they give us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Drive safe.